set things up. Yeah. But the management has got the bracing bits, and they've yeah. asked Shane to stand down while they yeah. investigate, We're because you're not meant to show people's front parts on the television. It was a pure accident. We, we muck around on the and, show, uh, we, we apologise. I personally am disgusted and sympathise with people who had to watch, and it's disgraceful. <laughs> And um, I had no. I know people think we said this. We had yeah. nothing to do with it. And uh, do you reckon Graham uh, Yarwood's gone tropo? He's gone absolutely bereft. They're lining up the belters. With this show, we're not going to come off air tonight. We're going to stay on air because as soon as we get off, we're going to get the sack. So we're going to stay here forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're lining up for us. So boy, uh, it's been, that is been a, great uh, work. That is, a lot of, <laughs> that is a lot of complaints. We've had an unprecedented yeah. number of complaints. And that's due to Shane Crawford. We're a team and we stick together, but it was Shane's fault. <laughs> And um, he has been asked, that's the first time in eight years anyone's been asked to actually leave on air. Yeah, no, we've, uh, of course, been asked He's to been leave. asked yeah. to stand down. He hasn't yeah. been yeah. sacked. No. No, I agree. We've removed him from the set. So, uh, but uh, on the upside, uh, Holden, of course, last week we gave away, Billy gave away a Holden car. So let's go out to the presentation out in the props bay now. Thanks, Eddie. <laughs> uh, now, new with uh, Daniel Sutton from the Martin and Preston Football Club who last week spun up the magical number one. He's come all the way over from Tasmania, but we only have one problem. We don't know where the car is, so we're trying to look. Hang on. Ooh. Well, here it is, in, very nicely driven by Russell Lingle. And uh, thanks for that, Russell. Sorry, Remember, you've done to the floor, you've <laughs> stuffed it. Not but anyway, Damien, congratulations. Thanks Must sorry. be really wrapped, yeah, no doubt. s -pack. all the kit. Population of 50 over in... Uh, Mott and Preston, is that about it? Preston, yeah. Yeah, Preston, so, yeah. going well. And Russell Ingle, uh, it's great to see. What can you tell us about the car? Mate, she's red, a rocket. Um, <laughs> VSS pack's got all the gear on it, mate. Uh, she's a real gem, one of Holden's finest. And you got a video there Absolutely. too? Absolutely, yeah. Give the old uh, video a plug here. Um, just latest out, 21 years of uh, racing at uh, Bathurst. Best race, um, 13 of which Holden have actually won. So plenty of Holden. Great for the, all the petrol heads. Great for Father's Day. So, Russell, Damien and Holden, thank you very much. And back to you in the studio, Ed. Good on you, Croft. Uh, and, uh, you're doing well there. And by the way, uh, the town of Preston is 25 minutes south of Elverston in Tasmania with a population of 50. So we'll be able to get them all in the back of the year. I reckon so let that be a uh, lesson to Shane. That's the shortest suspension. But that's what happens when you transgress. You go off air for three minutes. Yeah, now, coming, Croft, uh, we just... Uh, we, 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 <laughs> Really good. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a good night. <laughs> uh, uh, you know what you've done, son? You've dragged, in one fell swoop, you've dragged the integrity and the decency of this show down to gutter level. <laughs> Just in one, one foolish act. I'm glad I've We've worked for eight years to bring a bit of class and dignity to <laughs> AFL football. Well, you've completely stuffed it in about one minute of stupidity. I've had to think about it, and to be honest, if you're going to watch a footy show, you've got to be prepared for anything. And you've shown it all before in the past. I've probably done the wrong thing tonight, but anyway, if you don't like it, switch over and watch another channel. <laughs> Shane. Actually, no, I did the wrong thing. I didn't mean to say that. Don't Kirk. push your luck, mate. I tell you what, just give us one more second of that stupidity and you'll get the sack on here. <laughs> well, it's probably my last Don't night forget who you show, are. So, uh, You're forgetting who you are? I'm going out with a bang. You're a dribbling little footballer <laughs> who we have on just in the name of trying to add a bit of credibility to the show, so don't get too far ahead of yourself or you'll be out. No worries. All right, I'll quieten down Crawford, and I'll... Uh... It hasn't been a great week, has it? Fremantle. <laughs> uh, um, Sam. No, I'm looking drink. forward to tomorrow. It's going to be a great day. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, in all honesty, yeah. uh, hopefully we'll move on and we will. Uh, we'll win on the weekend. In fact, we'll move on. I'm, I'm praying that Arch is going to give me the wind-up here and get off the show. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, everyone. We, we do sincerely apologise if anyone was offended. Uh, we don't think that much was shown. We hope not. We're not going to look at the video ourselves. But if you'd like to buy a copy of it, <laughs> uh, this Trev's book, there's nothing in it. They're all clean jokes, are they, Trev? Yeah, no full frontal nudity in there at all. <laughs> Absolutely no. But we do apologise, uh, as you saw, Croft was mucking around, bit of a dack, bit of a joke. Do that in the locker room, don't you, boys, and joke uh, around you. Sometimes, yep, yep, we do that. Good old fellas. <laughs> Good night. We'll see you next time. <laughs>
Men Fly again for the Sunday footy show this Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. Catch up with Sam again as he cooks up a delicious Sunday roast with Mike Sheehan. It'll go down well with the expert analysis and complete wrap of all the week's matches. The Sunday footy show, 11 o'clock, here on Channel 9. Coming up next, Nightline, followed by Alison White, Travis McVaughan and Marcus Graham in Good Guys, Bad Guys. <laughs> This has been another presentation from Nine's Wide World of Sports.